In this video, I want to help you answer the question, can I write an AI newsletter in 2024? Because if you can use AI in order to write your newsletter for you, then that's going to save you a ton of time. Now, you might not have any prompting skills. You may not have any chain of thought skills when it comes to AIs, and that's okay because I'm going to show you a way that you can write long form for free that is going to help you get started with your newsletter. Now, we use a tool called Hoffy Copy when we're writing our clients' newsletters, but that is a paid tool. So if you don't have money to invest in Hoffy Copy, then this is what you want to be doing. If you want to check out Hoppy Copy, I will leave a link down in the description of this video so you can see the tool. And I'll put a link to a couple of videos we've done on Hoppy Copy at the end of this video as well, just in case in the future you decide that you do have money you want to spend and you want to test out that tool. So here I've taken Hook Points. This is a newsletter hosted on Beehive and they do tips, tricks and thoughts about fishing in Idaho. So super niche. This is actually a business. If you want to go check out their business, you can just use their social. And they're doing this newsletter as a way of building up their email list and then they can promote their products from their business as well. So really great way of being able to grow a business through a newsletter. But if I wanted to create something like this, then what I would want to do is I want to know that I can write it with AI. Because if we go into these newsletters, if I just pick this one here, these are very, very in-depth. And I do not want to be writing all of this from scratch on my own. What I want is why I want the AI to do a lot of work for me so that then I can just edit it, humanize it, put my affiliate links in, and I'm done within 15, 20 minutes, ideally less. And the easiest way for you to work out if you can do that is just go over to the GPT store and put in the keyword that relates to your niche. So for example, here I've got fishing. We've got all of these different GPTs that are around fishing. And then what I'd be looking for is I'd be looking for one that has lots and lots of conversations, which means people are using it. Now, it doesn't mean I would ignore the others. I'd probably test them out if they sounded promising because it might just be the case of A, people are lazy and they click on the first link just like they do in Google. And B, these people might not be marketing. They might have built something, but they don't know how to market their GPT. So I would go in, I would click on these, I would test them out, and I would see if I can write a newsletter. You're going to want to think about tone. And you're going to want to think about layout as well for your newsletter. These are massively important parts to get overlooked. And somebody else's GPT isn't necessarily going to be brilliant at that. But what it can do is it can find the bulk of the information for you, and then you can have a look at, humanizing it, putting your own tone in it. You can probably tell the GPT that you're using what kind of tone you want before you ask for the information. Um, and then you can sort out your layout and everything from there. But if we're assessing whether we can use um, AI to write our newsletter in 2024, this is one way you can do it. And if you go to our homepage of this YouTube channel, you'll be able to find a link to our community. And in there we have our free niche workshop that will teach you exactly how you can go through and validate that your newsletter uh, niche is going to be right for you, as well as some custom GPTs that you can use in order to be able to just cut and paste them into ChatGPT, the free version, and then you can run them as a custom GPT from there. But I did say at the end of this video, I would share with you some videos about Hobby Copy if you want to go check those out. And they are on the screen now for you to take a look at. See you in the next one.